because this is an advanced class, I'm going to assume that you know the basic question types um, that Google Forms have to offer. So when you come down here to add item and you have this drop down, then you know that you can have regular text, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, or choose from a list. Now what I want to introduce you to are a couple of features that you may not be familiar with. Um, and those are scale, grid, date, time, image, and video. And we'll look at section header and page break in a different video. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through each one of these types of questions and show you what it has to offer and how you can use those. Um, your requirement is out of these six different options for your assignment, you're going to have to use three of them. And I don't care which three you pick, but I want one of them to be either an image or a video, and then the other two you can choose. And I'll remind you of that again um, at the end of um, this video. So let's look at scale. A scale type of question is basically a rating from one to five. So if our question is how well How well do you like this video? I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use it later. So scale from 1 to 5. So if 1 is being it is awful and 5 being it is awesome. And you can adjust your scale to be anywhere between 2 and 10. And then it's a Likert scale so you can choose anywhere in there. Of course you can choose to make it a required question and when you select this box um, before a person submits, they have to answer this question. So that is how a scale works. I'm just going to click done so you can have a, um, a visual of everyone we've gone through. So I'm going to add another item and I'm going to pick grid. For this question type, I'm going to need a different question. So I'm going to um, include one question here at the top. So I'm going to say, how well do you like these foods. And I'm going to give two different lists. Row one is going to be the types of foods. So we put pizza. I'm going to actually just go in here and show you what this is going to look like. When you work with questions in a grid, it's going to take um, a little bit of time to manipulate. So I'm going to hit done and show you how this looks. So basically, you're rating different types of anything. And these can be more specific questions. But you're rating them all on the same scale. So this scale is how you identify your columns. and Whatever it is that you're looking to identify is your rows. So let's go back in here and look at this again. So to edit, I'm going to click the pencil. Remember my main question is how well do you like these foods? Um, this is basically a space saver. So if you have questions like you do in a grid, so this was how well do you like this video? If you had seven or eight questions like that and you were all um, they were all going to be answered on the same scale. Instead of having 10 separate questions that you have in a scale, you could use a grid. And then it's um, breaking it down just a little bit and you don't have to have as long of a, um, as a, of a question as you would with them individually inserted in there. Alright, the next type of question that we can add is a date. and all the date does is basically, let me show you here, date, you have the option to include a year or include a time. You also have um, the option of how you want to set this up. And when you hit done, this is basically it. Oops. People can select the month, day, year, um, and they can also click here to view a calendar. So this is just giving them an option if you were, for example, doing a, um, a sign up for a lab or a calendar event, you could give this option as a 
a date. Why this is better than just allowing people to type in a date, you have to remember that everything is going to be populated in a spreadsheet. And if you allow people just to write in what date they want to do something, then you're going to get a varied responses that are going to be hard to sort. So you always want to think about how your spreadsheet is going to sort and you want to take away as much choice um, or as much freedom as possible because people are going to write things differently. So if you asked for what date do you want to go and gave it an empty text box, somebody might type in tomorrow, somebody might type in tomorrow's date, somebody might write out the word October, somebody might use the number 10 to denote October. So taking away that freedom for people who are um, filling in your responses is going to make it a lot easier for you to sort your spreadsheet in the end. Alright, let's look at the time. So when we can insert a time question, it's the same thing. If your question was what time do you want to go, you get the same option of, um, you can add a duration, so for how long do you want to go, or at 9 o'clock, 9.30 p.m., and then again, of course, you can make it a required question if you want to. Again, taking away the freedom for people to come in and, um, you know, interpret the question how they see fit is going to make your sorting of your spreadsheets better. All right, next, let's look at how to insert an image. This is one of my favorite new things in Google. And you'll see that I'm not necessarily inserting a question here. Rather, I am inserting a picture. So once I choose to insert this picture, I can have um, a couple of different opportunities. So I can click to pick an image that I want to upload. So for example, I could choose the picture of this koala here. Um, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you this as well. I can also search. So if I want to search for a picture of a koala, I would have all these options. And these are just straight from a Google search. So I never even have to leave um, what I'm doing here to get the picture of the koala. So I'm going to pick this guy, hit select, and then the picture of my koala is inserted. So. What I can do is I can add an image title and I can have text pop up for when I um, hover on the picture. So my hover text could be and of course I can come in here and edit and duplicate the question or change the image if I want to. I'm going to hit done. Um, there are often times that I feel including an image in a form is going to be very helpful. So for example, if you are taking up checks for a field trip, and when I would make forms for checks and field trips, I would always ask the kids to put in the check number before they handed me their check, and these kids never knew where a check number was. So if I could have put in a picture of where the check number was, that would be helpful. Or if you are um, collecting service tags off of a computer, you have a picture of what the service tag looks like. So there are often times where having a picture in your form is going to be really, really helpful. And our last item to add is a video. And again, this isn't a direct question. This is going to be more for help text. So if I wanted to insert a, a YouTube video, we'll go ahead and just do the search right here, or you could plug in a direct URL go back to my safe Elmo song and I could insert Elmo song directly into this video and when I'm down here the same as with the picture you can see that I can center it or left justify it or right justify it of course I'm going to want it centered and then I'll hit done and everything's in there if I come up here to the top and I click on view live form you can see what my picture, or sorry, not my picture, what my form is going to look like. So I have these options here. Um, I can select the dates by going like that. Or I can have a calendar pop out. And then I have the same opportunities here to add my times. There's my koala. When I'm hovering, it says, isn't this koala cute? 
and then my YouTube video, which you can play directly. Oh, everybody! Um, and please remember, if you were providing this for students, they cannot see a YouTube video on the student guest or the student wireless network. So you will make sure that um, you know you're sending it out of the district um, network in order for this to be viewable. Okay. So again, for your rubric. What you have to have is, let me go back here so I can show you again. I'm inserting um, from scale, grid, date, time, image, and video. You have to include three of those, um, those different question types. You have to do either an image or a video, one or the other at least. You can do both and then one other but you have to have a minimum of three of these six. And if you have questions, of course, you can always email me.